Hi, today I'm going to be using Microsoft's Intune MDM to configure, enroll and update the firmware on my Datalogic SX5 mobile computer. So I have here a brand new Intune demo account, um, vanilla. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is to connect our Google account to Intune and this is going to allow apps and our OEM config tool to be installed onto each device. So to do that, I'm going to go to Devices, Enroll Devices, and Android Enrollment. That's just to get to this link box here. So we'll go through these first couple of screens. Okay, so we can see now that Play and Intune are now linked together. That's going to be giving us access to the um, managed enterprise Google Play Store. Okay, so let's download our OEM config application. So this is this app is going to sit within Intune and it's going to allow us to configure the data logic specific settings, um, such as what scanner. Um, Sorry, what symbologies we might read, um, power settings, all of the settings that are unique to our devices. So we're going to go to apps, Android, and add. We're going to take it from the manage to Google Play Store. It's the only place you can find our OEM config. And once we've approved this, it will be available within Intune. Right. Okay, so we can see that's now added to our applications list here. Next, we're going to create a configuration profile with our specific OEM config settings. Devices, configuration profiles, create profile. We will choose Android Enterprise, and that contains our OEM config application that we downloaded. We'll choose our data logic OEM config. And here we can set our device specific configuration options. I am going to firmware update and this link here is where I am hosting my OTA update file that I've downloaded from the data logic developer page. I will also be, so one thing that I like to do is change this setting here to Viper Beep because it's a quick and easy setting that you can check to make sure that the OEM config has been applied. If this has changed from default, you know that everything is working correctly. We don't need to add any tags. We do need to add all devices. Devices that are using this in June instance will have this specific profile and settings applied to the device. One thing that I would suggest doing is confirming this path is correct. Copy and paste this into a browser and just making sure that that file does actually download and is. So that's our Intune configuration pretty much complete. The next thing we need to do is link this to our device in the form of an enrollment code. So when this code is scanned, it will link the device to this particular Intune instance and configuration that we've now set. So we're going to choose corporate and dedicated device. We will create a new enrollment profile. And 
this process will, if we go back in, give us a token code. Now, this token code I'm going to copy and paste out of Intune and into a Android Enterprise QR code that I'm going to create using our data logic tool. So if we go to the data logic developer page, you will find the Android Enterprise QR generator. Tools. I'm going to create a new code. I will choose Intune as my MDM provider. I'm going to now paste the code, the token code that I took here into this field. I'm going to give the device a Wi-Fi network to communicate with the MDM through. I'm going to create a QR code. Now I can take my brand new device out of the box, power it on, and when I get to this blue hi there screen here, I can scan that code. It will connect to the Wi-Fi, download the Intune agent to the device, link to my particular Intune profile, and configure the device as I've set, including firmware updates. So I'm going to scan this code now. What we'll do is use the Wi-Fi network that I've put in this code to talk to the Intune agent. It's going to take a few seconds to get through these first couple of screens. up the terms and it will now be downloading the Intune agent. If we go over to the device itself now we can see this action taking place. The first thing it will be doing is communicating with the Intune instance that we've set up. Then going to, let me just turn this brightness down here. Okay, so if we look at our notifications, okay, so we are installing some applications from our organization, which is the Intune agent. And when that's complete, we'll see that on the desktop. So we have the Intune agent. The next thing the device will be doing is downloading our OEM config application from the MDM itself and applying the profile. So here's the, inch, uh, the OEM config app. And I would expect that to stay on screen for a few minutes while it downloads the firmware file that we've set to the device itself. In the meantime, we can ensure that the settings have been applied correctly by checking the Viper beep that we set as a, just as a, a notifier. So we can see here Viper Beep has been set, so our OEM config is working correctly, and we will now wait for the OTA firmware package to be downloaded to the device. So I'm going to pause here while that's taking place. And we can also check that, that is occurring. If we go into Files and Downloads, you can see the OTA update package being downloaded. We should wait for that to complete. So another check of the file, see how close we are for that download to complete. So nearly there, and again, this isn't required, I'm just showing you for the purpose of the video. Nearly completed download, and I would then expect the OEM configuration to install the firmware. So we'll wait for that to occur now. Firmware has been downloaded, OEM config is closed, and the Android firmware updating service will now take over. So you can see the icon there, and again, if we swipe down into notifications, we'll see the system update occurring. 
using the OTA file that we've downloaded. And this can take a few minutes and when it's complete we will get a notification telling us so and it just requires a final reboot for the process to complete. So the update is now complete, it's asking us to reboot the device and if we have a look at our Intune profile we should see our new device so, and we can check that all configuration has been applied successfully in our application configuration. So our OEM config has been installed and soon that will stay complete. That can take a few minutes for the device to check in and confirm that. So we are now complete. We've enrolled our device. We've applied our data logic specific settings via our OEM config tool and we've performed a firmware update to the latest version of Android.